Hi friends, welcome back to our channel Essential Physiotherapy. In this video, we are going to discuss about the classification of peripheral nerve injuries. According to Sedan's classification, the peripheral nerve injuries divide into three, namely the neuropraxia, axonotemesis and the neurotemesis. Now, let's discuss in detail about the classification of nerve injuries. Before going to the classification, we just have a look on the normal structure of a neuron. A neuron have three main distinct parts, including a cell body, axon and dendrites. Here we have the nucleus. This is the myelin sheath which covers the axon. Here is the axon. And this is the axon terminals. And finally, in the red ink, I just mark the antonurium here, which is a covering to the neuron. I hope you all know about the coverings of the nerves, antonurium, epinurium and perinurium. Now, let's discuss about neuropraxia. In these cases, we just experience a temporary loss of motor and sensory function. In this, the axon and the antonurium still intact. There will be mild compression to the myelin sheath. And demyelination of the axons also seen in these cases. The second type of nerve injury is known as the axonotemesis. Now let's have a look on the axonotemesis. In these kind of nerve injuries, the axons and the myelin sheath were damaged and there is no damage to the antonurium or perinurium or the epinurium. In this, the terminal portion of the neuron will undergo valerian degeneration. Now, let's have a look on the neurotemesis. In these cases, we can see the complete cut of the neuron or the nerves. Here, the axon myelin sheath and the entire antonurium, perineurium and the epineurium will be damaged. Here I just made a spelling mistake in axonotemesis and neurotemesis. Hope you all understood the classification of peripheral nerve injuries. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos. 